and you think about, well, how am I going to get my microphone plugged in and into where I need to to record it? We're going to talk about something that's called an interface later, uh, but I think one of the great things about this Audio-Technica 2100 is that it is a USB and an XLR mic. First of all, this is a solid microphone. This thing is like, um, it's solid. Unfortunately, sorry, Audio-Technica, I've dropped my microphone a few times, but thankfully you made it so solid that uh, it, it doesn't matter, okay? So I, I forgot to mention what came in this package, but we'll get to that in a minute because I'm already, I'm already rocking with this thing. So I, I mentioned um, the what's here at the bottom. So you've got these inputs on this ATR. So you can plug this thing right into your computer because they provide to you a uh, USB plug that goes right into your computer. This thing plugs right into the bottom of your microphone. This goes right into your computer and you are sounding like butter in someone's ears with this puppy. It is, it is a fantastic microphone, but you should also know if you are a little more seasoned and you'd rather use this other input, which is called an XLR, um, you can absolutely use this. Now, I'm not going to get too in the weeds with sound and what I prefer. I've recorded podcasts this week with both, with both using a USB and using an XLR. But because Audio-Technica loves you and loves this microphone, they have provided an XLR cable as well. Now, you cannot plug this directly into your computer with an XLR cable. You will have to, if you wanted to do this, there's a, there's a bit of a quality jump when you use an XLR cable over a USB, okay? This, you're gonna to need to plug into and use an interface. Both of those cables come in the package with the uh, ATR2100. Um, so we'll go off of the product uh, mic or camera, Jim. And I'll also tell you that in this package with the ATR, you're gonna get a stand. So you're gonna to wanna to put this thing on your desk or wherever and it sits there and you can speak into it. Now most uh, podcasters, live streamers, they'll also use a boom arm, right? And so what a boom arm is, is it hooks to your, uh, to your table and you get a shock mount. And that way when you're tapping on the table, it isn't coming into your broadcast. It isn't coming into your podcast. And so that shock mount and that boom arm is gonna prevent uh, you from doing that.